Now, I'm going to assume I'm big in isolation. I've been eating a little bit too much. How about you? Me and the fridge have been a little bit of best friends, unfortunately. Problem is, I ate through all of my snacks on the first day and they're all sitting here, so we need this work. So let's start to get a little lower in the legs. Yeah. Awesome. So you should start to feel a little bit warmer. You should feel your ponytail bouncing. That's lovely. Step back. So, feeling the heart rate is lifting just a little bit now. Oh, I've got hair in my mouth. How did that happen? Here we go. All out now. So let's start with some toning for our legs. We're going to squat down and up. Down. Now, one of my favorite sportsmen in the world is Johnny Wilkinson, and he used to do this just before he went to take a kick in the rugby. Now, he's got lovely legs, and I reckon it was this little squat that helped him. And if you come up and give a little thrust under, it's really going to help with the blood muscle. Take your left foot back, come down and up. Down. And up. How's that one feeling in your legs? Now we need our knee in alignment with the center of our foot. That's lovely. Just have a little look down. And I want you to think about keeping everything lifted and turkey as you're dropping your back knee down to the floor. Yes, one more. And then back to the middle. Down and up. Hello, Johnny Wilkinson. Lifting up. So Johnny Wilkinson had the legs, but I hear the keeper at that guy, is it uh, Chris Hemsworth? Has got the chest. What's his name? Thor or something. Oh Thor, sorry, Thor. Thor. Yeah, he was in some movie. Now that other leg goes back. Now I do hear that he's doing some free fitness classes right now, and I know that lots of ladies have been watching it. And of course, they've been getting a little bit hot under the collar watching that. What? No, I wasn't being rude, Kat, not at all. No. No, ladies of a certain age, they flush quite often, they get really warm. You're nearly there, you're 43 this year, you'll be there soon. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. So coming in, four, and up, again, three, and up, again, two more, and up. One more. Take your left leg back, down. And our knee in alignment, we're aiming for our thigh to be parallel to the floor. And at that knee dropping down. Can you feel that working and warming up? Back to the middle, down and up, down. What's up, are you getting a bit warm? No, you're okay, keep going, keep going. You're doing really well, lovely. Now, take the right foot back, four, and up, down, and up, down, and up, one more, this time a little faster, one, two, down, and up, down, now, take the left leg back, down, and up, oh yes, Feeling good now, can you feel the legs burning? Now what I think is we need to keep the same number, right foot back, but we're gonna speed it up, double time. So, two of each one, are you ready? Let's go. One, two, left leg back, one, two, center, one, right leg back, one, Two, and again, one, two, left leg back, one, two, center, one, two, other leg back, single time everybody, down, up, lunge, up, down, up, lunge, how's that feeling, can you feel your legs beginning to burn? We're gonna make this a little bit smoother. We call this a Gina. It's your capoeira. You wanna stay nice and low to the side and then the other side. Yeah? 
keep going. How long can you go? Yes. Keep the chest up. That's some perky. Yeah, be proud of what you've got. Beautiful. Okay, gang, two more. One more. There we go. Keep that legs a good shake out. How are we doing there, everybody? Are we having a good time at home? Now, is your old ears beginning to feel like they're in the right place? Our legs should be burning. Now, if you've got a mat handy, now would be a good time to get it up. We're just going to lay it out on the floor. And we're going to have a little bit of work on the legs. I'm just going to take my, uh, my personal trainer jacket off. Suck it in, suck it in, Ivy, suck it in. Now, lying down on the floor. We can be propped up on our elbows, but be careful not to lay on your ponytail. We're going to lengthen the legs and bring the foot in. We're going to keep low. So, low. Up medium. Up high. Lower down. And bring it back in. Low. Medium. High. And lower down. Again. Low. Medium, high, and lower it down. One more time. Now, if you can, we want the toe pointing down to the floor, knee to chest, in and out, in and out. Push your way through. This is going to help work our legs, and especially the bit on the side of our hips here, in that gluteal medius. Yeah, keep going. Eight more. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two more, one more. Lovely. You might want to bring that knee over, give it a nice little rub, give it a spank if you want to. Now we've got a little bit more to do on this leg before we're finished. We're going to come over onto our hands and knees. Now this time, lift to the side, up and down. Just like a dog popping its leg up a tree. Now squeeze your belly super tight. That's lovely. I've got to say, I bet you will look beautiful at home doing this right now. Lift your belly, squeeze on, now switch on your pelvic floor. Our pelvic floor is one of the most important parts of our body. Now bring the heel up to the ceiling. Now, what we want is our body super still. The foot is flexed, and we're going to push in here directly up to the ceiling. Are you ready, everybody? Let's go. 16, 15, 14, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9. Keep your body still. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blow it out down and sit back to child's pose. So a nice stretch through the bum there. Oh my god, I just lost one of my secrets. Uh oh. How's that feeling? Is that feeling good? So what we want to be aware of is when we do this one, keeping the leg up, but our body's not going up and down, but we're dancing in flash dance. No, we don't want that. So let's try the other side, shall we? Coming over onto your side. Oh, I've got another hair in my mouth. Oh goodness, where did they all come from? <laughs> Leg is nice and long, we bend it in, suck it in, kick low, low, medium, high, and lower down, and bend, low, medium, high, and lower down, again, low, medium, high, lower down, one more time, gang, low, medium, come on team, we can do it. Now bring the knee to your chest. 16, 15, 14, heel up, toe down, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 more everybody, 8, 7, 6, can you feel it working? Can you feel the love in your head? That nice burning sensation, a warm, fuzzy feeling. One more. Take your knee over the top. Give it a nice rub. Oh, feels good, doesn't it? Yes, I can feel it getting tighter already. By the end of this, you're going to have buttons of steel, ladies and gentlemen. Boys, girls, and in between is. Whatever you want to call yourself, we're all happy at Lord's Fitness. 
So let's set up the leg, ready for the next one. Sorry, oh, knees down, he's getting really excited, moving on. We're gonna pop our leg first, yeah, remember? To the side, up and down. Yeah, up and down, up and down. Good old Jane Fonda won this one. Or maybe the Green Goddess did it, I can't remember. Eight more, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two more, one more. So now, raise your belly, super tight, pick up the leg and take it to the ceiling. Now, flex the foot, super high. So we don't want the body to move, we want to isolate the butt so we can get a really good booty. 60, 50, 40, 30, we want a really good booty. Just like that Kimmy Cardigan. Yeah? Here we go. Last one. Sorry, what? Oh, sorry. Kim Kardashian. Apparently she's got a good booty, not Kimmy Cardigan. I didn't know. So I don't watch television that often. So what we're gonna do now is roll over and do just a little bit of a phenomenal work. Oh my gosh, I've got a bit of a sweat going on. What about you? I've got that 80s sweat pants on. So coming up, feet are down, slide your ribs to your hips. Come up, up and down, down and up, up and down. Slide your ribs towards your hips to work your six pack muscle, everybody. Yeah, yeah, up, up and down, down. Now, it's all well and good having a six pack. But we don't want to bulge out the edges. So we've got to do some work on the side. Reach your right hand to your right ankle. Right and up. Now left. Side and up. Right hand to right ankle. Left. A little twist round to the side. Yes, yes. That's lovely. Keep going. Come on, team. You can do it. Just a few more. We're nearly there. Keep going. Yeah. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, how's that feeling? Super strong. We're going to do one more exercise. It's called the bicycle. Fingers are by your temples and elbows are out. Shoulders to opposite knee. We go across. Now, our easy option is just to tap the toe to the floor. But if you want a bit more, then you can really get a good bicycle by lengthening your legs. Now, some of you may have been out on your bicycle in your one hour of fun and fitness to go outside. How's this one feeling now? Working very well. Now I know some of you like a good bicycle. Just like Danny who signed on earlier, because she bicycled all the way over to Paris and France. All for charity. Well done, Danny. Talking of charity, if you've enjoyed the class today, feel free to use the PayPal link to donate just a little bit of money to our charity, Cancer is Drag. We raise money for people that are fighting cancer so it doesn't try them down. You don't have to do it, but if you want to, sometimes it helps put a smile on somebody else's face. Just a couple more. Last one. Put the feet down. Place your hands on the floor. Arms down and open your chest nice and wide. Lift your hips. Coming up. Two. Three, four, lower it down. Now, as you lift your hips, I want you to draw your belly button towards your backbone. Yes, yes. Now, I know you've done this before, Luke, because you do it in your Pilates class. Yes. So, lift it up. Super smooth, with a nice squeeze in the buttocks. We want them nice and peachy and firm. We want them to look like two million walls in a hanky by the end of that. So let's make them really work by pulsing at the top. All the way to the top and pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Super strong. Keep it going. Thrust your hips to the ceiling, team. You can do it. And thrust, thrust, 
thrust, thrust. We're nearly there, everybody. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Oh. oh my gosh. How did that feel? Was it good for you? It was good for me. I'm feeling a little bit warm up here. So, what we need to do now is we're just going to have a nice little stretch after all of that hard work. So, just bring one leg in, taking a hold of the knee, and just circling the foot. Now, circle your foot in that other direction. Now, for a lovely stretch up the back of the legs. Take a breath in as you breathe out the length of the legs. So we're stretching the hamstrings here all the way up. Nice and long down the back of the legs. And we can push your way through the heel or we can take the top. Whatever feels good for you today. So, do you have a good time today? Yes, I miss. We have a lovely time. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Pushing the legs nice and high. Let's try the other side. Drop the foot down, lift it up, push through. Feeling that beautiful stretch all the way up the back of the legs. Now, as we bring the foot down, pop it onto your knee, just like you're sitting in the hairdressers. And then reach through, taking a hold of the supporting leg and bring it through. Ooh, can you feel that? It's right around your bum cheek and your hip, isn't it? Some of you might feel it a little bit on your inner thigh too. But we're going to stretch that one as well in a moment. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all done in the best possible taste. Come in. Now, I'm obviously too young to know that one. But somebody told me it's a lovely lady by the name of Cupid. That's right, Cupid Stunt. She's a lovely lady and apparently she's as smooth as whatever that is. Now what would be a really good one for us to do is stretch the inner thighs. So what we're going to do is take both legs up to the ceiling, pop the hands in the middle and then open nice and wide. So this one's really good for a stretch on the inner thighs. It's also very good to get some air around you the jazz all there. It's great for ventilation. And then we're going to come in and down and hold on to one side. Taking a hold of your shin, slide your knee backwards and then squeeze your butt, push your hips forward. You should feel a stretch up the quads there. So notice, I haven't got hold of my foot, I've got hold of my shin. Now we're nearly there, ladies and gentlemen, coming round to that other side. Switch. Oh, there's thigh monsters coming up everywhere, but that's another one I'm going to do. Taking it backwards, slide the knee behind you. Beautiful stretch through the front of the leg. So ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, in between is, and however you see yourself, I'd like to say thank you very much. My name is Iris, with the Rainbow Goddess, and the CEO of Bolches Fitness. I'd just like to say, this class is free every Tuesday.